I always had dreams of playing professionally, but after all my injuries, I just, I didn't try and think too far ahead. And then came up my fourth year, I was like, oh, I have a fifth year, I'm gonna stay in college. <laughs> and then it was my fifth year and I was like, oh shoot, I gotta think about it. And then I was like, you know what, I mean, it's worth trying, you never know. My coach kind of was just like, you know, the draft is weird, don't, don't get your hopes up. And I was like, I'm not. You know, he told me a couple teams that maybe were interested, but I was just hoping if my name didn't call, get called, he was like, we'll get you a tryout. Like, there's other ways to get in. So I was just like, you know, whatever happens, happens. I really didn't expect to get called from the West Coast just because most of the teams are on the East Coast. They weren't really on my radar too much, but when they did pick me, I was like, oh, sweet. Because <laughs> it's a really cool place. So I was like, oh, I love Seattle. I've only been there once, but I enjoyed it a lot. And I'd heard only good things about Laura and the program. So I was, I was excited. Yeah, I, I was more probably mentally exhausting than anything. I tore my senior year of high school, so then I redshirted my first year, came back, played my second year, and then I tore it the last game of the regular season. So yeah, that was pretty devastating because our team was doing really well. We ended up going to the semifinal. But yeah, I mean, the second time around, I was a lot more, whatever, it happens, it happens. So I just kind of tried to have more fun. I was more relaxed. I didn't think as much because the first time when you get in your own head, you just you get nervous, you think about it too much. So I tried just to stay very relaxed. I mean, I love Virginia. I had the best five years of my life. I have had the best coaches, the best people around me, and Steve and the rest of the coaching staff are some of the best coaches I've ever had. And they care about us as people, not just players. And I think all of us just have so much pride to have gone there. It's awesome playing like mostly every team. And I can see one of my old teammates there. My old roommate plays for Kansas City and she was on my side and I was literally marking her. I was like, this is so weird. I mean, I think if you think about it too much, you know, you look at the names you're playing against, it's very easy to get frazzled and be like, oh my God, they are just a different caliber of player, which I mean, many of them are. So I think it's just, if you just don't look at it and you just play, then that just gives you an edge up because if you look at what some of these players have accomplished, it's, it's unreal. And I obviously can't match that. So I try and just, you know, play the best I can. It's so much easier when we love to defend as a team, so when the defending starts from the forwards, it makes our job easier. Lauren's made my job so much easier. She's so vocal, she's so fun to watch, so calm to play with. Yeah, she's really helped me a ton, just on the field and off the field. It's been awesome, it's exceeded expectations probably. I was just hoping to get on the field, so now that I've gotten a decent amount of minutes, I just wanna be consistent, play the best game I can, and yeah, hopefully just it gets better from here, individually and as a team.